Can your intuition make you money? My name is Joel Solomon. I'm a prosperity coach, and my mission is to help at least 100,000 people become financially free, and I want you to be one of them. So I was a hedge fund manager between 2008 and 2016. And if I didn't trust my intuition, I either lost money or I made less money. My clients ask me, Joel, how do you develop your intuition? And I tell them, you exercise it every single day. So I used to go to the gym and I wanted to get my biceps bigger. So I did curls. So exercise your intuition every chance you get. You're on the subway platform. The local train's sitting there, but the express is coming in two minutes. What do you do? Local, express, express, local, what do you do? Trust your intuition. Now, every Thursday morning, I have my daughters and I take them to school. Well, I used to be taking them to school every Thursday morning up until a few weeks ago. And we had options. We could take the local roads, we could hitchhike, or we could take the highway. Now, generally, my intuition was screaming at me to take the highway. But one particular morning, the highway is all backed up with traffic. But my intuition is still telling me to take the highway. But my intellect says local roads. So we go local. And immediately, my stomach's in knots. I hear the sirens. I see the flashing lights, and because I didn't trust my intuition, it cost me a $150 speeding ticket. And to this day, my daughters tease me. They call me speedy pants. So let me give you an investment idea related to intuition. In March 2008, I'm managing a large hedge fund for Citigroup, actually $300 million. And my intuition, after doing some research, had told me to bet that AIG was going down. So we short it. We bet it's going down. A couple of months later, my analyst comes to me, says, Joel, it's going back up. Well, my intellect agreed with him, but my intuition said it's going lower. So we get out. We listen to my analyst. We listen to my intellect. Two days later, it's down 10%. And my intuition is still screaming at me, it's going lower. So we get back in. And less than four months later, it's down 60%. We've made 60% on our money by trusting our intuition. So rule number two in the nine money rules millionaires use is trust your intuition. My name is Joel Solomon. If you want to know more, you can reach me at joel at S-A-L-E-U-R. MOR.com. Thanks for watching. I believe in you.